everyone. So I'm wanting to show you my interpretation of a very popular synth sound right now. Um, you might recognise that first little segment from Nicky Romero and David Guetta's song Metropolis. It's um, not exactly the same, but it's the same idea. But also Firebeats use this sound and the Albin Myers. There's a lot of people that have been using this this kind of wobble texture at the minute. Um, it is on my second refill, if you have it. It's called Monst uh, Master Wobble, sorry. But if you don't have my second refill pack, I will show you how to make that wobble now. Um, it's quite a time-consuming synth to to program, so I'm gonna I'm not gonna be able to spend much time explaining everything just so this uh, tutorial isn't really really long. So anyway, you're gonna want to make a combinator, and then you're gonna want to make a line mixer. Flip to the back of the rack by pr uh, holding down uh, pressing the tab key. And then holding down shift, you're going to want to make an RV7000, and we're going to use this as an aux send, so audio input, uh, connect that to the send of the mixer, and return to the output. Then you're going to want to bring the decay all the way down, the high frequency damp to about 17, the high EQ you're going to want to bring up to about 18, the dry wet you're going to want to make sure is all the way up. Then you're going to want to turn on the gate and the EQ. And then if you hit the remote programmer, you'll be able to control the reverb and the EQ and the gate. So we're going to use it on a whole algorithm. Uh, we're going to bring the size. If you hold the shift down, you get a tighter control. The size you're going to want at 15.5 meters. Uh, the fusion, you're going to want 127. Room shape, number 4. And then you're going to leave that 50% at 0. Pre-delay, uh, pre delay you're going to want to bring down to 6 milliseconds. And the mod amount, yeah, leave that 16. Now if you go to the EQ, you're going to want to low gain right the way down. So we cut out all the bass frequencies so they're not interfering with the bass frequencies of the synth. Um, and we're going to leave that at 128. For the high gain, we're going to want to push this up to 3.7 um, and then for the frequency we're going to want it at 2800 to it and then we're going to bring this down to 0 0.6 so we're cutting out the lows of the reverb and boosting some of the kind of mid-range and then if you go to gate um, basically what the gate's going to do is it's going to cut off the reverb um, at a threshold that we set so the, the, the reverb tail isn't going to be interfering with the actual sound of the bass. So we are going to take the threshold and put it to 3.7 decay at 100% uh, leave all that attack, you're going to free hold, you're going to want at 15 and release you're going to want to bring down to about 290. Then we can close that. Um, okay, so then if you hit the tab key again, hold the shift down, and we're going to create a maelstrom. And then you're going to want. No, we'll just leave that one. So hit the tab key again, sorry. Uh, make sure it's on the initialized patch. Um, you can do that by right clicking and go and reset device. Or initialized patch, depending on what, what version of reason you're running. So, oscillator A, we're going to start by changing it to a square wave, star 16, and then we're going to bring the motion right the way down. Um, then, shift, you're going to want to put up to 6. Octave, you're going to want to bring it free. Leave the semi and the scent. We're going to want to push up to six. Um, and then what else are we going to do? So I'm having a look at my notes here because this is where it gets complicated. Um, the attack you're going to want at twelve. So sorry, leave that where it is. Decay up, sustain up, and release down. And you're going to want to leave the gain where it is. But you're going to want to turn, you're going to want to rid it to this shaper, but we'll talk about that more in a sec. Um, okay, so then also that B, you're going to want to change to triangle. This is going to be our kind of sub um, 
sub bass kind of sound. Uh, you're going to want to bring the octave down to 2. Uh, attack, you're going to want a 12. Decay, you're going to want a 43. And sustain, you're going to want a 0. And also the release at 0. And gain for this, you're going to want a 106. And then turn these both on. I don't know why I wrote it to filter B because I think we're using filter B. But anyway, this is how I've done it. So this is how I'm just following what I've done. Um, okay, so then we move on to Shaper. Turn it on by putting that on there. Leave it on Sign. And then turn it up to 82. And we're going to ignore this filter because I'm not using it. Filter A, we're going to leave at low pass 12. I'm going to turn on that. I'm not even sure why. I don't I don't know how I made this sound. I'm just following exactly what I've done. So some of these things might not be necessary, but I'm just doing it to make sure it sounds exactly what it should sound like. So you're going to want the frequency down at 26. And the res leave at 0. And then for the filter envelope up here, you're going to want to change the amount to 28. Uh, the attack you're going to want a 34. And everything else you're going to want to the top. So, this is um, how we. Well, that's just. Actually, no, okay. This is how we. Um, this is, the mods are going to be how we make the wobble and how we shape the sound. So, for mod 8, make sure it's turned on up here. And you're going to want to change the waveform to that. I don't even know what that is. Some half a square. I don't know. So once you got that, you turn the rate to 88. And we're going to be using this modulator to control the index and the shift. So the index you're going to want up at 6. That's the index of these two um, oscillators, by the way. So it's controlling this amount here. So index up at 6, and then the shift you're going to want at 8. And that's all for mod A. For mod B, you're going to want to leave that sine wave. And the rate, just to leave it where it is, because you're going to be. Con that's this is what's going to be controlling the wobble speed. So just leave that where it is, and we'll, you can automate that afterwards. Um, so the volume you're going to want to put to 31, there's a 2 sex, I think that's wrong, that's right, okay 31 and then fill our 63 so right up to the top and then that's it for the modulators, turn the legato on then this little knob here, turn up slightly to 4 and then bring the volume down to 77. Let's check. Um, yeah. So, yeah, this is quite a complicated synth, basically. The first oscillator is used for the actual texture of the sound. The second one is used to give it a subby bass feel. Um, the modulator A is used to give to add some texture to the sound, whereas modulator B is more for actually con um, making the wobbles. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's basically the sound. Um, okay, so now it gets a bit easier to to, to do from now. So we're going to add a vocoder. So right click on the Maelstrom, create a digital vocoder. Oh. To the tab key, right? Okay, sorry, two six. So, we didn't want that to happen. So, what you want to do is hold shift and then make sure the output of your mouse drum goes to here, and then the input should be going into channel one. 
Okay, so bring it down to four, turn it on the equalizer. Uh, the band you're going to want up at 14. Um, I changed these bands slightly, so if I show you up here, if you want to pause it now and copy that because they don't give you values for it. So once you've done that, uh, we create two EQs. So I'll just double check this is why. Yep. One EQ and another EQ. So for the first EQ, you're going to want param 1 and param 2 on. Frequency param 1, you're going to want up to about 1800. Again, up slightly. Uh, 4.9. And bring the Q down a bit. 4.6 Bram 2 roughly the same and then you want the high shelf on leave the frequency where it is push up the gain to about 5.7 and Q leave that where it is for, pra, um, for EQ2 turn everything on Actually, you might want to turn the low cuts on as well, just to get rid of any of the frequencies below 30 hertz. So for the low shelf, leave the frequency where it is, touch up the gain to about 2.3, and the Q you're going to want to leave as well. Um, then Pram 1, bring down to about 500, bring the gain down a bit, and leave the queue where it is, Pram 2, down to about 114, gain up, about 5, queue right down, and then, actually, we don't need the high shelf at all, okay, and then the final couple of things, just going to add, uh, reverb, in our small room, um, size you're gonna want to about 12 minus 12 decay down a bit to about minus 14 damp down and the dry wet maybe about five six and then last two things we're gonna do to beef up the sound is put a compressor on it and a maximizer so for the compressor boost the input uh, put the threshold down to about minus eight. Uh, the f ratio to about three point yeah three point three nine. Uh, the attack you're gonna want to push up to about sixty eight. At least bring down to about two three one, and leave the output gain. Um, input push up slightly to about at one point nine. Turn on four millisecond. Look ahead. Tax slow, release slow, output up a little bit, about 2.1, soft clip on, amount up. And that should be it. The only thing to do is. Okay. So you're going to want to turn your aux send up to 75. So. Okay. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I didn't muck that up. Um, so if we move these notes down, okay. So to control the amount of wobble you've got, if you hit the show programmer um, on your combinator, then go to Maelstrom, go to Rotary One, and then go to Modulator, go Modulator B Rate, and then this Rotary knob is controlling the rate. If you see down here, so. If I automate that, hopefully, it sounds like it didn't start. It's not doing anything at all. Um, let's see, it's wired up.
Yeah. Yeah, so that's that's the sound basically. Um the the automation of the wobbles a bit off. But yeah, that's how you create that sound if you haven't got my second refill pack. Um so obviously automating the rate is quite important to change that. Um you can alter the amount of reverb. Also playing with the amount of shift on the first oscillator kind of really drastically changes the tone of the sound. But there you go. Um thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.